CBS News legal an analyst Ricky Kleeman. Ricky, good morning to you. Good morning. This is a fascinating case. On the two sides, you have one side saying it's a perversion of the law. On the other hand, you have people saying, let's do what's best for this kid. So what is going on? Well, one of the things that we should always think about with child custody cases is what is in the best interests of the child. Usually, a case gets to the United States Supreme Court that does not have emotion involved, that does not have real life involved. That what you're dealing with here, on the other hand, is a lot of emotion that the Supreme Court would like to ignore and just look at the law. If you look at the Indian Child Welfare Act, the United States Supreme Court is going to say, one way or the other, we should keep this law or we shouldn't keep this law. The law was designed in 1978 to protect the integrity of Indian families, keep children with their parents because they were being hoisted out and put into foster care at an alarming rate. Right. That's not what this particular case is about. This is about a father and an adoptive couple. What could be more emotional than that? And also, Ricky, the, I mean, forgive me, but this biological father is only 2% Cherokee Indian. Well, if you look at it, I think that the quote by Justice Breyer is that the child, this baby Veronica, is, um, we're down to three 256 Native American, or as he said, that perhaps there were three Cherokees related at the time of George Washington's father. Right. One thing to remember, Justice Roberts, the Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court, is very active about ending affirmative action in other cases. This is a case that may be totally based on a racial classification, which might not please him. He also happens to be an adoptive an father. Adoptive father. Yeah. If we look at it on the other hand, well, what are the best interests of this child, or the best interests of an Indian child? At the time that the case went to court, the adoptive parents, who seemed to be lovely people who really cared about this child and it was wrenching for them to lose this child, they had the child for two years. Well, now the father has had the child for almost a year and a half. Yeah. So is this child a ping pong ball? We right. don't want to see that at all. So what are the ramifications, though, if the court, who normally doesn't get involved in a case like this, says we're going against a biological father, nonetheless a Native American biological father? Well, one of the problems is now, and certainly I think troubling for the justices, is to say, we should terminate the rights of a biological father? If we look at it in those terms, then we take out the whole question of Native Americans. We have to remember, though, there was a reason for this law. There was a rational basis for this law. The question becomes, is there a compelling state interest in South Carolina, where the child was taken after the, the child was adopted, to say, toss the law? That's a big act for the United States Supreme Court to do. Ricky, you think this case could go either way. Yes, and that's rare for me. I usually am happy to say, look, the odds are this way or that way. I think that the court would be really reluctant to toss the whole law. But the court has a lot of lesser remedies here that would not actually throw out the law. Ricky Kleeman, thank you so much. Thank you.